Hey, this is Jim, and I'm back with another segment for NDI November. This time, I am being joined by Brad from 1210 Production Company, talking about an NDI production system and workflow that they installed with the Galena Park Independent School District. Hey, Brad, thanks for joining us again for NDI November. Jim, always glad to be part, part of the program for you. It's always a pleasure to have you. I know we've had you on the show before. We have a lot of new people tuning in and joining us this year. So why don't we take a brief moment and give you an opportunity to introduce yourself and 1210 Production Company. I appreciate it. 1210 Production Company specializes in video production, primarily in the educational K-12 space, as well as minor league sports and college sports to make LED screens work. So we'll focus on the video cameras, the replay and the switchers, and be able to make that workflow be part of either a web stream or an LED video board broadcast. That's awesome. And I know you're using a lot of the NDI technology and different production systems. And I invited you onto the show today to talk about a recent project you did with the Galena Park Independent School District. Can you tell us a little bit about this project? Absolutely. Galena Park Independent School District hosts two uh, high schools within the state of Texas, Galena Park, as well as North Shore, and they share the same stadium. And the NDI technology really helped take this project to the next level because looking at that man, uh, that drawing, you can see that the stadium and how vast of size that is. A lot of people think of a high school stadium as maybe 1,000 or 2,000 people. This this has the ability to hold over 10,000 people. And uh, we had the design made, and then as the school got more involved in the project, they said, well, we have all these concession stand TVs on the concourse that we'd really like to be able to show the game on while people are getting their food and their drinks and be able to see the game in real time. And without having to add any additional cables, we were able to utilize all of their existing campus IT infrastructure to distribute their signal out of their TriCaster and get it to their monitors instantaneously. So it was really a cost savings for them very late in the project that was able to be a great benefit to the school district as well as their fan experience. And Brad, I think that's one of the things we talk a lot about with the NDI production world is not only does NDI give you access to all of your video sources throughout the workflow, but it also does act as the distribution model, allowing you to take the signal from any of those cameras, production systems, and send those over to the digital signage, like you did with the TVs and the concession stands and other points throughout the stadiums, right? That's right, that's right. And, and that they have it at their disposal to get it wherever they want to on the campus as well. So well, when, the idea first came up of how, oh, how are we going to do this? We, we got to get fiber from one side of the field to the other side of the field. And we've got to bring in all these extra converters and how, how long it's going to take to get from cable from point A to point B. And then we just started asking a couple of questions in the school district to say, what do you currently have over there? Is, is there something that we can utilize to make it a little bit easier for them? And they said they have the same computer network all over the stadium and that it's all connected over fiber and it's it just like extending it via a simple network cable. And it was truly within five seconds of connecting all of the switches together, they were able to see all of their content. That's great. And when we're talking about a stadium of this size that's fitting more than 10,000 people, it's not your typical, you know, high school sports field installed. This is a real sports venue. It is Friday Night Lights where these football games are being broadcasted. They have the LED displays in the stadiums and venues themselves. They have the routing with the TVs that Brad talked about. Uh, but that's all being managed and controlled in a control room like what we're looking at here, right? That's right. And, and, and it's really all student-based at, at this venue too, which makes it even more special for the school district. Uh, they have one director who teaches the children how to do video broadcast, and they're able to take that to, to get jobs and better careers and scholarships because they have real life examples. These are 
the stadiums that are built on Friday Night Lights as, as a theory of the show that gained yep. so much notoriety. Uh, North Shore High School has been to six of the last 10 Texas state championships at the levels that they've been in, whether that was 5A or 6A, that they're a perennial powerhouse within the state of Texas. And they get the attendance and, and they just, the, the, the technology continues to improve and be able to be an enhancement to their fans and their teams to show all the hard work, not only of the student athletes on the field, but the students doing the production as well. Absolutely. And I know we're looking at the Vizorti TriCaster systems. Uh, it's really giving the students access to the same tools that are being used in true broadcast environments and live event productions where they can take the skills that they're learning at the school district and bring those into their um, advanced college education and even broadcast careers, right? And, and you're seeing more and more broadcast stations and the colleges go to the VizRT platform because of how user-friendly that it is and familiar that the students are. So it's, it's not that the students back in the 80s and 90s were, were using antiquated technology and that it was hard to go from the, the educational system to a true broadcast setting. Now you're seeing the same technology be used from high school through broadcast and games to ESPN are being broadcasted with the same technology. Absolutely. Brad, thank you so much for joining us to tell us about uh, this workflow and how NDI production has really played into that. Uh, for our audience who are tuning in today, if you have any questions about the sports production environments, uh, school production workflows, any kind of live event production, you can reach out to the 1210 Production Company at 1210productioncompany.com. Uh, their phone number is up on the screen here as well. You can always reach out to Brad and his team. Brad, thank you again for joining us. As always, Jim, thank you.